the stuff that I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm real talk. If somebody would have told me this when I was like a senior or in college, I'll be I'll be totally here where I am. Technically, most adults are literally like 10 years behind. Mm -hmm. They're literally like 10 years behind the game. We live in a total different environment, right? It ain't even, we're in the information age. Oh, let, let me calm down. I'm, I'm, and so, let my man know an empty seat in the uh, empty seat in the classroom is an insult to his future. Just text that to him. I have a question. Yeah. What if you like, <clears throat> hypothetically speaking, uh -huh. what if you like eighteen? Your life haven't started yet. Well, technically, but you already feel like you failed. You're wrong. Like, cause, like hypothetically speaking, like. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> There's no such thing as failure. It's called feedback. We're gonna, we're gonna get to that. You have not failed. I have. Because of the environment you grew up in, you didn't have to choose to get to the war or something. Right. You better listen to my man. My man's spitting. What'd you say? <laughs> what you say? I said because of your environment, you couldn't get to the same place that some people your age are at. Come on. For example, uh, child actors. Real talk. You know, they know, their parents know people who got connections that got them where they are now. Spitting bars. You didn't have those connections, so you know where they are. He hyping you up. But I get what you're saying. I'm not gassing him up. He came with his own gas. <laughs> I know I hype myself up. You just ain't never seen me hype myself up. What's your name, Pam? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's the main thing. That's what we're going to be talking about. Now, uh, we got two objectives. The first objective, we're going to explore the dynamics of time. And then number two, we're going to build awareness around time and relationships. And I'm going to really break that piece down, relationships. I'm going to really break that piece down. So I want to start off. I'll never forget. Somebody said they wanted to go to Clark. Well, I'm just doing a poll check. You said you wanted to go to Clark. So there was this gentleman by the name of Dr. King. Real talk. My man, Dr. King, he was running late for class. And he had a mentor. His mentor was a dude by the name of Benjamin E. Mays. Benjamin E. Mays, he was a sociological, uh, sociology professor. And my man, class started at 8 o'clock. Class started at 8 o'clock. Get to the point when he gets to the threshold of the door, the teacher, he like, dude, you can't come up in here, uh, Martin. He's like, man, class started at 8. He said, no, class started at 750. He said, the syllabus say it starts at 8. And this is what he hit him with. He said, all you have is just a minute. Only 60 seconds in it. Forced upon you. You did not seek it. You did not choose it. It's up to you to use it. You'll suffer if you abuse it. Give account if you lose it. Just a tiny little minute, but eternity is in it. Then he hit him with this. What time is it? He said, 8 o'clock. He said, no, it's good times. It's always good times. It's always good times. So the question that I want to start asking you all, letting you all know, which is significantly important, the most important day of your life is when you realize that you're responsible for your time. And, 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 you agree with that? That's the most important day of your life is when you wake up and you realize that you're responsible for your time. Because I'm going to tell you, high school is the last time you had access to a free education. Am I right or wrong? That's the last time you had access to a free education. Now, everything is about time now. My man who was late, you can't be late. You're probably on financial aid. You got to pay that back. Am I right, fam? You gotta pay that back interest. Sally May ain't my auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Sam, we ain't related. You gotta pay that back. The interest on them unsubsidized loans? It don't even make sense. You walk up out of a school, you like, man, all right, I got my pre med. You, you can't do no more pre. It's pre. Pre med. You gotta go get some more education. And you walk out with a $45,000 target on your back? And you late for class? The most important day of your life is the day when you realize that you are responsible for your time. My grandfather used to ask me a simple question when I was, when I was growing up in the crib. And I'd be like, granddad, let me get the keys to the car. You know, I'm about to be on something. He, he, man, fam, he hit me up with one question, Dr. Moses. He said, where you going? We about to go kick it. He like, where's that on 53rd? <laughs> I'm like... We're just going to kick it, man. He's like, who? Me, me and my guys. I'm like, you can't use my car. I'm like, granddad, man, I just want to use the car. We're going to go on 55th. You know, females, you know, they up at the park. You know, sweetie. Or girls, they thick. Look like Buffy the body. But she don't got Buffy the brain. Because most guys like girls who got overdeveloped bodies and underdeveloped minds. I'm dropping bars today. So she, you know, I'm like, I'm trying to go up there, man. Everybody back from school, boy, trying to come up. Granddad said, you can't use my car. I said, why not, Granddad? He hit me with this, Dr. Moses. He hit me with this, Corey. He said, son, if you can't tell me where you're going, that's the easiest way to end up where you don't want to be. If you don't know where you're going, that's the easiest way to end up where you don't want to be. Where you going, Vincent? And then he'll tell me why you going there. I'm like, oh God. Why are you going there? Well, I'm about to kick up. You, you, you can, what, the way the cops act in this, you can't be up there at 10 30 at night. Grandma said the only thing that's open after 12 is what? Legs and babies. Feel me, ain't you? That's what grandma said. That's the only thing that's open. The bar ain't open. Uh, legs in trouble is open at 12 o'clock at night. Where you going? Let me ask you, my friend, where you going? You don't even got to ask that. That's a question that I want to haunt you. Where you going? And it, it ain't even about, oh, I'm about to do the college thing. Well, where you going? Because everything is connected to time. Failure is connected to time. Success is connected to time. Average is connected to time. Jay-Z, his schedule looks different from everybody up in here. Jay-Z is a what? Somebody talk to me. Rapper. Billionaire. More than that. Entrepreneur, billionaire. Say that, say that, say that other one. Entrepreneur. The other one. Businessman. Billionaire. Billionaire. <laughs> His time look different from mine. Yeah, a lot of things. 
Who's that who's, I ain't putting nobody, somebody came up in here late. Jay-Z can't be late for no meeting. What? He got to secure the what? He got to secure the what? The bag. The bag. <laughs> he got to get the bag. And we come up in here, it ain't time to laugh. But let, 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 I, I, I want you to understand something. You got to understand your why. Why are you here? Why, should somebody just tell me, why are you in Embark? Why? I was doing it uh, to see the field of college and see if I like college or not. Because I don't want to waste my time and not like college and stuff like that. Okay, wow. college, yes. Increase my knowledge. Increase your knowledge. Somebody else. Yes. Have an uh, understanding of dorm life and being in college. It's like I before that. I go out there. Good, I love it. Yes. Being a prior experience before going to college. Prior experience, yes. Anybody else over here? You too. So, give me something. I, I need some energy for you. I need some energy. Yes. Education. Yes, ma'am. Practice for college. Practice for college, my man. Experiencing being on the dormitory with new people. Love it. Ma'am. More knowledge. More knowledge. I didn't hear from you. Experience in college life. I'm loving it. Did I miss it? Yes. You. Uh, form connections. Say form, that again. Form connections. Say that again. Form connections. That's what I've been looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. Who said that word? Networking. Networking. Do you know that relationships shape 15 years of your life? I got into places not because, oh, I know, oh, boy. No, he know me. I know Jordan, but Jordan don't know me. I know LeBron James. That's LeBron. But LeBron don't know me. Joe Biden, who's the president right now, do you know most of his candidates are his best friends? Mm. Nobody knew that Kamala Harris is the godmother of one of his grandchildren. He just didn't pick her off. She's a good candidate. They related. That's why Kamala Duckworth did not get the position. Kamala Harris is his god. This is children, his grandchildren, godmother. Connection. Everything, write this down, everything created, write this down, everything created. Am I boring anybody? No. Everything created requires connection for completion. I ain't trying to be tongue twister, I'm, I'm, I'm going to break it down. Everything created requires connection for completion. Put that on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, real talk. Everything created requires connection for completion. Your refrigerator need what? It needs to be power to an outlet. It need power to an outlet, right. Uh, if you notice, every, that outlet's all around here. These are not, these people in here, they're not just friends, they're what? Outlets. <laughs> that, that everybody in here is an outlet. And somebody said, Bishop, why are you not on Facebook? Because I already like myself. <laughs> My people on Facebook, connections, outlets, networking. What do they call it? They call it social what? Media. Social media. What's the purpose of social media? Networking. Now colleges are, co man, college. What is, can somebody tell me what college is real, real talk? Because we can get to this time. An investment in yourself. It's an investment in yourself. Think deep. Go deeper. It's just That's a place to network. Yeah. Place to network. Good. What else? I love that. Invest in, investment, network. And somebody else give me another one. I'm about to go deep real quick. Can I tell you? Yes. Yeah. It's business. Mm. It's a business. And each and every one of you all should have a business mind. If you don't have that financial aid, if that boy don't go through, see, because now, let me tell you the game. The game is now you don't have to take the entrance exam because we want to get your money. But after that first semester, hmm, shut your business down. So who are you? You're a corporation. That don't make it sense. You're a corporation. My son, my son, he played football 
for Home War Flossmore. Anybody ever heard of Home War Flossmore? Yeah. He was the man. I don't even want to tell you his name because I'm kind of embarrassed. But I love my son. He made a couple of decisions that wasn't right. He was a man who played football 6'8". Solid. 315. Lineman. I'm sorry. Uh, um, he was on the line. He was the man. I had all kind of colleges coming to the house, man. University of Illinois wanted him. Uh, uh, Penn State wanted them. Ohio. See, I, I'm naming blue chip schools. Big time schools wanted them. He get on the college campus, and this is what I told him. I said, everywhere you go, you take yourself with you. So if you don't get up for class, you taking that with you. You lazy, you taking that with you. You procrastinate, you taking that with you. You lying, you taking that with you. Forgetting homework, you take any of you all, you all, any of you all. Does that fit any of you all? Forget mm -hmm. lazy. Yeah. That don't fit you all. all. Of the no, no, no. Mm -hmm. So, because everywhere you go, you what? Taking yourself with you. Taking yourself, yourself with you. You take all your behaviors, all your attitude. You take all that stuff with you. He get on the college campus. Cause I used to wake him up for class. I would tell him, son. It's mind over mattress, not mind over matter. Mind over mattress, not mind over matter. Mind over mattress, not mind over matter. Uh, who had a hard time getting up today? This is your job. You can't be late for your job. I want somebody to tell me real quick, how much does it cost to come to UIC your first year? This is your investment and you don't know? How much it cost? First year. That's your homework assignment. Well, 80K. Say that again. 80K. 80K? It's not 80K, fam. Mm -hmm. This is state school. UIC is not private. I can look it up. Freshman year, technically, for one semester to come here to UIC, it's about 12 grand a semester. So after one year, you 24, my, Dr. Moses, no, just for one year, one semester at UIC, because I think it's probably about 550, between five and $600 per credit hour, and you know each class is worth three credit hours. So technically, just one year being at UIC, you already 24,000 in the hole. And you coming to class late? Am I making sense? I mean, is this resonating with you all? You, you can't afford it, it's mind over mattress. You got to be in this boy. That's why the first thing I said, uh, an empty seat is an insult to your future. All right, so let me get to this. So it's two things you do with time. Write this down. And, and I probably have it on the notes section. Two things you do with time. You can either use it wisely or you can waste it foolishly. Use it wisely Waste it foolishly. It's one person, I always like to use his example, because this dude, he matched the time. I like to talk about Dr. King, because Dr. King graduated from, from high school when he was 15. What? 15. Graduated from Morehouse College when he was 19. Anybody here 15? All okay. right. Graduated with his master's degree 22. at 22. Graduated with his PhD, not not an honorary or he can do online. <laughs> not the honor, you know how some folk, some, some folk be like, hey, what's up, doc? What's up? No, 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 no. He went through the program, two and a half year program in Boston at Crozer College where he met his wife, where he met his wife, Coretta Scott King, when she was at Boston's conservatory. He was working on his thesis. Got his PhD at 26, got a Nobel Peace Prize at 32. Come on, man, that's gangsta. That's what you call, and each one of you all got swag. What does swag stand for? That you write this down. S-W-A-G, something we all got. My job is to unleash that boy. Am I making sense? That's what you call gangsta. And let me get to this point, talking about time and wasted time. I'm going to tell you, 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 know, you, know, you know why there's a lot of shootings in Chicago? I got an initiative that's about to get ready to be going on in Chicago. Kids, when kids don't shoot for their dreams, they'll shoot you. Hmm. Man, you missed that. You should write that down. Just Facebook. But when kids don't shoot for their dreams, they'll shoot you. If a kid don't have a, if a kid don't shoot for the dream in his heart, he'll shoot you in your head. 
When kids don't have dreams to shoot for, they'll shoot you. Why? Because they're wasting time. Let me tell you a story. So, so when you when you get to college and you don't know your why, see your why got to be clear. See, I'm helping you. I, all that confusion you was talking, I'm trying to get you clear. Is, is it helping? You're getting clear. You can't drive when you're not clear. I wish somebody would have set me down. Everybody told me, what you doing? I, I knew the what. I didn't know the why. What you doing? I'm going away to college. I got the what down back. I didn't have no why down back. Nobody told me why you why you going to college. I, I didn't know it. Ain't that what you're supposed to do? So when you don't know your why, you'll go to college and get high. We well, don't know your why after the first after the first year. Everybody say goodbye. <laughs> but let me tell you about that last one. Nobody talk about the last one. And I'm gonna hit you with this last one. I didn't understand the why when I was on the college campus, and it was this girl on the college campus. Woo, Doctor Doctor Moses. She was off the chain. I'm telling you, she. Woo, man. And I'm about. 18, away to college, trying to holler at my girl. She ain't giving me no play. No play. It was at the point I decorated her dorm door. Woo! And I had like a dozen of flowers at the, at, at the doorstep. She still ain't giving me no play, fam. No play whatsoever. And I'm coming hard with my game. And then all of a sudden, she called my room. At two thirty in the morning, I'm like, for sure. She? I'm thinking it's clicking on cylinders. She said, "Can I speak to your roommate?" <laughs> like, oh, my roommate, like, he put it on speaker. That's how ignorant he was. And she just talking real foul. He was like, "You want me to get the latex?" She was like, "Get three. And I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> And he doing whatever he doing with old girl. Whatever. He coming back 4 a.m. in the morning. Like, man, she drained me. I'm like, dude, man, I like her, man. Stop all of that. But then one week later, we had an opportunity on the campus. They was doing a blood drive. And we donated blood. Watch this. And two weeks later, he got something in the mail that said your blood was rejected. Meet me out here at Downers Grove. <laughs> we hit the Downers Grove And they said sir can you stay right here They said I don't even want to say my man's name They said can you come to the back with me He said do you have anybody to drive you home I'm like, I guess some new nigger Buying up on this They took my man in the back They set my man down They set my man down I guess I can move it. They set my man down The lady talking to him It was two men one to on the right and left And the lady she asked him I don't want to say my man name. She said, can you write down the last few people you had sex with? He's like, what? She said, um, we noticed something in your blood. They said, um, they rejected your blood. They said, the only time we reject your blood is um, if you have um, gonorrhea or HIV. Hmm. All I heard was my man at the end of the hall just holler and they said you can take both tests today took the test and he just he not even going to class he just stressed he get back there the next two weeks I take him and they told my man they said you got HIV mm. I'm almost tearing up I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hold myself cause me and my man now we 40 we 42 years old. I just talked to my man last week. He got to take 80 pills. Not married, no kids, but he taking 80 pills. And old girl, she left the campus. It was a whole big thing. We, <laughs> yeah, when you don't know your wife, you'll catch an STI. STD don't stand for she thick, dude. That's something real. You got to get clear on your why. Am I making sense? Am I, is this clicking? Is this clicking? This, this, this campus, this is business. This ain't, this ain't, you, 
play after you get your degree and you get your uh, you gotta play with some constraints now. You gotta know the rules of the game. Oh girl, and I was wondering why she ain't giving me no play. I'm glad she rejected me. You know what rejection is? Write this down. Write this down. Rejection is somebody doing you a favor. Rejection is somebody doing you a favor. My man, 42. He got to take 70 pills? I was like, what about that? I said, what about that new um thing that, what's that new that new medicine that they got on, on TV, they promote, he said, that don't work for me. Mm. My man had to literally move away from everybody doing COVID. Because if he caught it, he was gone. My man, 44, and still dealing with issues and decisions he made when he was 18. Some stuff you just can't recover from, man. Man, young people, some stuff you just can't recover from. You got to be clear on your why. You all been talking about rich dad, poor dad, the E, the S, the B, and the I. When I went to school, I, I was just, you'd be, you be an employee. That's it. Now, boy, you better own your business. You better get clear on your why. My man said, I got four minutes and then we're going to do this activity. You better get clear on your why. Why am I here? Clear. And you better be, and you better connect. And, and this one too, uh, this last point, then get ready to come on up and then we're going to do this activity. Write this down. This is really powerful. Don't spend quality time with unqualified people. They will disqualify <laughs> where you're trying to go. <clears throat> Don't spend quality time with unqualified people. They will disqualify where you're trying to go. I'm going to say that again. Don't spend quality time with unqualified people. They will disqualify where you're trying to go. Eagles hang with eagles. But some people are trying to convince you that you're not. <laughs> say it again, Vince. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Eagles hang with eagles, but some people will convince you that you're a duck. Let me help you real quick how to find a partner. Because uh, uh, I, I know you might be on the college campus and you probably want to date. I'm going to say this and then we're going to do this activity. When I met my wife, my wife was a gold digger. No. What's my what's my wife? My wife was a gold digger. And young people, you better hang with gold diggers. Why did, why did you why did you say oh, for real? This is the type of gold she was, G O A L. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Facts. Mm. Who said facts? I did. I did. Facts. <laughs> you better find somebody who got some goals. That's you good. know what goals stand for? I'm, I'm gonna break it down. Come on. Y'all know how I do it. I'll break it down. You got you got the G O A L go. Uh, did I spell it right? Go go on and learn something. Goals. If they don't go, if they don't have no goals, get away. She was a gold digger. G O A L S. Go on and learn something. She was constantly digging. Okay, I'm gonna take. We're gonna we're gonna do a 10 minute activity. This is what I want you all to do real quick, young people. And then after these few minutes, my man Corey gonna come on up here. Um, somebody, real quick before we do that activity, on the back I ask you all a question. Can somebody tell me who's the 17th president of the United States? Anybody? I don't care. Some anybody? Just tell me who's the 17th president of the United States. Is this with or without the phone? I don't care. I don't, oh, okay. I don't care what you use. Who's the 17th president of the United States? I don't care. Y'all know I'm trying. I'm teaching you that. I'm, I'm teaching you something. First person, just say it. 17th president of the United States. Who said? Who said first? 
Who is it? It was like a simultaneous between Jay. them two, but destiny. Abraham Lincoln, here you go. Okay, why did I give up five dollars for just telling me the seventeen presidents of the United States? Why? Huh? Oh, it got Abraham Lincoln on there. No, it's deeper than that. What? An incentive? An incentive? No. Because people will always pay you for what you know. Mmm. That just blessed me. (laughs) Ask me another question. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Good. Every day. Good. Watch this. I didn't care if you used your phone or anything. What's that called? That's called resources. You got to use your resources. Write that down. People will always pay you for what you know. That's why you come to college, to know something, so that people can pay you for what you know. Wow. I just got money back. (laughs) You see what I'm saying? That's the universe. Whatever you put out, the universe is going to bring back to you in abundance. We're going to have a question for tomorrow, too. Be prepared. Do it the world. <laughs> Man, let me go here. Man, I just feel like giving out money. Anybody want the 20? I would love 20. See, you missed it already. I asked you, do you want the 20? You might want the 20? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, see, you missed it. Why you didn't come up here and get it? Mm. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, 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 see, you see, see, when you want something, you go after it. Wait, come on. When you want something, you go after it. I want it. It's his. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Vince, hold on, because you're talking about time. I'm talking about time. So my question is now, now true enough, when you put it down there, she got up, but you told her. Oh, I'm sorry. You told her. I did, I did, I'm sorry. I got another 20. That's too late. I'm sorry. I got another 20 for you. Hold on. Now time out, time out. Since we're doing this, you was the young man that was late. Oh, now it's, it's. I'm not pointing you out because of that, oh, but man. because you was you late, know. you, you don't know what happened those first man. minutes that caused you, you to not be able know. to get that twenty. He's up, that's a lost opportunity. He, oh, but, but that's your, but that's what college life could be for you if you make the wrong decisions at the wrong time. Go, Vince. Keep going for it, my right. man. My, my, uh, come on, advocate. What I'm you got cool. to say? Moses, I had to go to the bathroom. I dropped some of my stuff off and went to the bathroom. Came back. Uh, you gave a comment about Jay Z, billionaire Jay Z, entrepreneur. You don't think he knew he had to go to the bathroom before his meeting and made it on the meeting on time? See what you're talking about right now? Quiet as kept. It's called an excuse. Excuses will keep you away from your destiny. Excuses will stop you from being who you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be them. And then because you hang around a bunch of folks, so I believe that's gonna say it's okay. He had to go to the bathroom. Ain't nobody holding you accountable. I Bruh. Give you the 20, but my man, he held me accountable. So if he hold me accountable, I got to hold you accountable. I'll tell you, I'll make a deal with you. I'll make a deal with you. And I ain't going to even be here tomorrow. Vince, get this. This is my $10 bill. For sure. Beat, a, beat everybody here in class, and that's yours. And I'm going to let you know real talk, man. I'm going to be here. And if, I, and if not, I want my 10 back. I want the 10 if I come early. <laughs> I feel like whoever get here first get the 10. Mm. Wow, I feel like that sounds like, that sounds kind of... Your 30 minutes is up. Your 30 minutes is up. Okay, okay, hold on. 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 Okay